the legendary Bobby Osborne on his legendary fern mandolin. Oh yeah, I remember you playing that one before, here. Done some work on uh, Bobby's fern today and and uh, worked also on his lore and um, gonna be doing some uh, extensive work on his lore here uh, soon and looking over it and getting the game plan and it's always great to sit here with Bobby in the shop and me and Bobby spent a lot of time in this shop, hadn't we, buddy? Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Painful time. You ain't wrong. That's right. Boy, I tell you, the tone of that mandolin, buddy. Yeah. <laughs> Man, you can. Yeah. And the the action is so low, but it gets great though. It feels great. You know yeah. what I mean? I and don't, uh, I don't play as good with it up, up high like that. Yeah, yeah. You don't need high action. Not on this bad on here, you don't. No, sir. You can hear that man ancient tone for days. There's this piece of binding that I put back in. Bobby said it fell off at the Opry. He caught it. Sure did. <laughs> I remember that story. They just say you're right. He just I just took me in it. It fell right there. I just took my shirt pocket and kept it out on the plate. Ain't that something? Right I'm going to do a little bit of work on his mandolin, and I just wanted to document this on his tuners. He's uh, um, there. He's having a little bit of problem turn, turning the uh, knobs here, and uh, um, uh, it's got one screw right here. Um, I never drilled those out right there. I don't, I don't know. Uh, Bobby said it, well, that was a long time ago that that was done. Some other ones, this one here is really big and wallowed out, and this hole's wallowed out as well. And uh, going to have to dial uh, something to get those because what's happening is the tension of the strings the pressure is pulling back on these tuners. Inadvertently, the stud also gets pulled back against the wall, the inside wall. And that's why it's making it hard for it to turn, or nearly impossible, Bobby said, for it to turn. So I'm just going to check the the depth of this. There you go, yeah. About an eighth. Yeah, it's an eighth of an inch. Deep. Um, There's the depth. That does measure to an, an eighth, so keep an eye out on this. Um, but you're good. As far as this goes, you know what I mean. It's, there's no weak. It's not showing any weakness or anything like that. It's not showing any any um, pressing down or anything like that. No, nothing like that. So you're you're in good shape. Deep. But the top is in excellent excellent shape. Perfect. No separation in the seam whatsoever. The bridge. <clears throat> no egging at all. Yep. Building is still there, but miles part of it's gone. Yeah, yeah. We the, the small place called Miles Music. Miles Music. That's where the man was shipped to from the from the factory. Really? It shipped right there. Back's in thing. good shape and everything, so he's got it's in good shape. Excellent. Your bindings in great shape. All your joints are in excellent condition. Your neck joints in excellent condition. There's in, I'm going to document this inside too as well. There's a number 84251. That's at the base side um, label. Yep. And then up here is 84251. But uh, all the, everything looks good. They're structurally good. All right. We'll proceed to the working on the tuners. All right, I'm going to show this here. I talked to Bobby about this. Um, this mandolin, uh, Bobby said it was done before he owned it, but um, it was drilled before. It had other tuners on it. It was drilled right here, the holes. And they were filled, and they, they appear to be 
filled good. There's no cracks or anything like that in the headstock. The ears are in excellent shape. So, But what happened was um, this was wallowed out, this hole was wallowed out, and this one was. And, um, and then the other two holes over here was not drilled. So what we're going to do is I dialed all three of these and um, I'm going to collar them and everything as well. And then um, and then I'm going to go back in, put the tuners in, and then re-drill in here for the for these Waverly. So I'm going to go ahead and re-drill those and um, get these tuners solid in there. And um, because that's what's wrong. Bobby was... was uh, was here and witnessed it um, whenever I took the strings out and turned the mandolin over the the treble side tuners fell out and um, so but now they're going to be rock solid and uh, so this will be much much better and um, we're going to do the same thing over here on this side if these I'll find out here in just a second if these screws are wallowed out as well so here we go we got this side all done all of them went in, and the great thing about it is, is I got that covered up, so it looks a lot better as well. <laughs> 